These are the instructions for the Action Connect app for an Apple device. First, you'll need to download the Action Connect app from the App Store on your Apple device. Be sure to type in Action Connect as one word into the search so you don't have to hunt through a long list to find the app. Turn your ego on and engage the Wi-Fi. To do this, wait until the Wi-Fi icon blinks in the upper left corner of the LCD screen on the Ego. Then, press and hold the shutter button for two seconds. You'll hear two beeps and the icon will now be solid, indicating that the Wi-Fi is on. Then, go to your phone settings and select Wi-Fi. The Ego will display as an available Wi-Fi network. Then, select the Ego to connect. If the Ego isn't listed, click Scan or search for available Wi-Fi networks. Once the app is installed, locate it on your phone or tablet and open it. In the app, press Shoot. The app will offer the option to use your current GPS location. Select Yes or No. The first time you use your Ego with your Apple device, you'll be prompted to restart the Ego. You should also restart your Apple device at this time. Once you've completed the reboot on both your Ego and the Apple device, turn on the Ego's Wi-Fi. Then, locate it in your Wi-Fi settings just as you did before. Select the Ego and once your device indicates that you're connected, go to the Action Connect app. Now, click Shoot, and you'll be taken to the viewer. To take a picture, first press the Mode button to switch from Video to Photo Mode. Then, press the camera icon on the taken image. If you click Settings, you can access all the features of the camera, including adjusting the frame size and rate, changing the field of view from 135 to 90 degrees. You can even set the date and time from here as well. Another handy feature in the Settings menu is the ability to rename the Ego. This is a great function for those who will be using multiple cameras to capture video from many angles. To take a video, click Shoot, then press the red record icon on the upper left hand corner of the screen. You will see a prompt that says, to start recording, camera will turn off Wi-Fi connection. Are you sure? Press Yes to record. The camera will begin to record. To end recording, press the shutter button on the camera. To use the app as a viewfinder for multiple cameras, you will need to establish a Wi-Fi connection with one camera at a time, then disconnect before connecting to another camera. You may notice that there is about 4 seconds of lag between what your camera sees and what you see in the viewer. This is due to Apple settings and their push for excellent video playback quality. We will be constantly updating this app to improve features and capabilities, so please look for video updates detailing these changes and improvements in the near future.